Right, in this video, we're going to work on tier four of the on fire wrap. We start with a slip stitch on the hook, and we're going to slip stitch to the right corner of this square. So right here is where we're going to go. It's the last chain of the foundation chain from this square. So we're going to go in there, slip stitch, and then pull that slip stitch tight, okay, and then chain seven. Skip the first chain and pull up a loop in each of the others. And we're going to go back through this same chain to connect it as we go. All right, now I'm going to show you something. You're going to notice, if you haven't already, that Tunisian entrelock creates a lot of ends. And it's nice if you can weave those in as you go. If you are still just trying to hang on, please don't worry about weaving in ends as you go, okay? You'll, that'll come with time. But if you feel comfortable doing it, you can hold this end along this foundation chain as you go. And you see how I'm going to work right over it? It's going to be hidden in the back, but I will be weaving it in as I go. I try to weave in ends as I go as much as possible when working on Trilock so that I have many fewer ends to work in at the end of my project.
Okay, I'm on the sixth row. Excuse me, I finished the sixth row. I'm on the seventh row. So here we are going to chain one, go through the two legs of that first stitch and single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet across the top of this, going through the two legs of each stitch, just like we do for Tunisian knit stitch. Alright, and then to join this stitch, um, let's see, this is my bottom row of the first square of the previous tier. I'm going in here, which is the first stitch of the first row of the first square of the previous tier. And then I'm going to pull through both of these loops. Now to begin my next square, I'm going to work through each row end um, along here. So I skip this one because I've already gone through it. Now to weave in my end at this point, I'm going to bring this under my hook. And now when I do this one, I'm going to put it over my hook and then under and over. under and over on this last one okay and it's nearly woven in at this point all right but the important important thing here is even if you're not weaving in the ends you're going to go through each row end and pull up a loop so you should have seven when you get to the end and now we're going to have to join this one up this side of this next square as we go so i'm going to go through this First, this is the foundation chain of this square, so through this foundation chain here, and through the first loop. Then yarn over and pull through two several times until you just have one loop remaining on your hook. Okay, and it's going to be pretty much the same thing all the way up until we get to that last row. And then we're going to single crochet across the top, just like we did for this square.
Okay, that should be one, two, three, four, five. That's five, not six. Okay, one more. And for the last row, chain one, single crochet in the first stitch. And first row, first stitch, I'm going to go through there. There we go. Okay, and then we fasten off. And we have, so far, this is what we've made. And that's the end of the fourth tier.